morning students today we will study the various uh, geometric elements of open channel as you are aware if you consider a rectangular uh, open channel of width b and uh, depth y then top width will be equal to the bottom width of the channel b t is equal to b that is top width if you consider the channel bed slope s0 with respect to horizontal y0 is the depth of flow and this dotted line represents energy line okay this is the water level this is the bed of channel now if d is the depth of channel in some books y is also taken in some books small h is also taken as depth of channel don't get confused depth of channel is important why not depth of flow why not is depth of flow d or y is the depth of channel this is the direction of flow this is the direction of flow as shown here we can define different geometric elements hydraulic radius denoted by r that is equal to the ratio of area of flow divided by wetted perimeter area you can calculate y into b perimeter perimeter 2 times y plus b hydraulic depth it is defined as the ratio of area of flow to breadth of flow or top width of flow area upon top width of flow top width of flow or top width of channel a by t section factor section factor for critical flow z is equal to area multiplied by the square root of hydraulic depth that is equal to capital a multiplied by square root of capital a upon capital t section factor for uniform flow is equal to area multiplied by hydraulic radius to the power of 2 by 3 that is a r to the power of 2 by 3 here yeah. got it hydraulic radius is the ratio of area of flow divided by wetted perimeter that is a by p hydraulic depth is denoted by d is the ratio of area of flow to top width of channel that is capital a by capital t and lastly on this slide section factor for critical flow z is equal to a multiplied by square root of hydraulic depth that is equal to a multiplied by square root of capital a upon capital t the same is for uniform flow is equal to a multiplied by hydraulic radius to the power of 2 by 3 here uh, you can see the various uh, geometric uh, shapes of channels rectangular section trapezoidal section this one this is rectangular this is triangular and this is circular you have to find out all these parameters area of this area of this shape area of this shape area of this shape peri wetted perimeter then hydraulic radius or hydraulic mean depth and hydraulic depth section factor for critical flow and section factor for uniform flow we are required to find out so instead of separately calculating and finding out we will uh, see in a tabular form right first of all we will understand here what is what this is this is the bottom width of the rectangular channel 
that will be same as top width capital T. So here B is equal to capital T. Right? This is the depth of flow. Either you can take Y or you can take D or you can take H. Depth of flow. Similarly here for trapezoidal this is B, this is T. If you consider slope here slope theta and here also slope theta you can calculate total top width t is equal to b plus this much and this much so one in n slope or one in x slope you can calculate so we will see in the next tabular forum the calculations for different geometric elements of different shapes for rectangular area is equal to b into y wetted perimeter b plus 2y already i said hydraulic radius area divided by wetted perimeter by divided by b plus 2y for trapezoidal section for trapezoidal section b plus 2y divided by y is the area b plus 2y z squared plus 1 whole to the power of 0.5 is a wetted perimeter because we have to consider 1 in z slope or theta or n whatever the notation you use. Hydraulic radius is area by wetted perimeter b plus z y upon y this is b plus b plus 2 y upon y divided by b plus 2 y z squared plus 1 whole to the power of 0.5. Similarly for triangular section z y squared is the area 2 y multiplied by whole multiplied by z squared plus 1 whole to the power of 0.5 is the wetted perimeter. Therefore you will get Hydraulic radius after simplification z y upon 2 times z squared plus 1 whole to the power of 0.5. So this y and 1 y here goes away left with z y divided by 2 whole multiplied by z squared plus 1.5. For circular d squared whole multiplied by 2 theta minus sin theta upon b is the area d theta is the weighted perimeter and hydraulic radius d whole multiplied by 2 theta minus sin 2 theta divided by b theta. So this z squared plus 1 has come because of the reason that if you take 1 in z here when you take a trapezoidal when you take a trapezoidal if we write like this we can show the slope that means this inclined length is calculated as something and then if you calculate this horizontal because it is symmetrical this horizontal also will remain same of course this is t that is nothing but equal to small b so t is equal to b plus this plus this this you can calculate by considering 1 in z 1 in z1 vertical z horizontal if you consider by Pythagoras theorem you can calculate this horizontal distance that will give you here in the table z square plus 1 how to the power of 0.5 is it right next a numerical problem velocity distribution in open rectangular channel is v is equal to 3 whole multiplied by y to the power of 0 0.05 if width of channel is 10 meter and the depth is 1 meter find the average velocity average velocity and average velocity and alpha also beta energy correction factor momentum correction factor you are required to find out now what is area width into depth 
that is 10 meter into 1 meter 10 meter squared variation in the area 10 times the depth y average velocity v is equal to 1 upon a integral v da that is equal to 2 meters per second if you substitute the value you will get therefore alpha is equal to the ratio of kinetic energy based on actual area divided by kinetic energy based on variation in the area therefore integral v cube da divided by capital v cube a beta is equal to 1 upon a integral v small v upon capital v whole squared multiplied by da so everything is known from the above steps if you substitute here you will get 1.125 as beta and 1.35 as alpha from here in these two cases we can observe that alpha is greater than beta and both have been obtained as greater than 1 1.35 is greater than 1.125 and both are greater than 1 therefore whatever the condition we have laid down there for variation of velocity in any case alpha shall be greater than beta and both alpha and beta should be greater than 1 that is also satisfied in this numerical problem given right so like in the similar way in exam the data may be different and uh, the parameters which are given based on that you are required to find out the quant different quantities okay Thank you for watching. We will continue in the next class. Have a nice day.